Okay, this is the third lesson in my soft body physics tutorial series. And in the previous two lessons, we took a look at these pull and push parameters associated with the soft body edges. But really, you could call those, you know, like how well a st spring stretches or compresses. That's how I like to look at it. It, it kind of helps me visualize it a little bit better. All right. And then what we'll do in this case is we'll add some uh, other physics effects to these soft body physics to make them interact a little bit. So maybe the first thing I'll do is I'll just go into edit mode with this object here and I'll just scale it on X and Y and I'll scale these together like this and then I'll press control V and merge them at the center. Alright, so I've made it a single point. Now they'll still have this same value of 1 that's set for the vertex group. Alright, and in this one here, let's see, let's see what the values are on here. I have a, uh, so it's fairly, I have the pull strength, so it can't be pulled, but it can be pulled a little bit and it can be pushed. But let me turn on these stiff quads here. So basically diagonals, you know, imagine uh, stiff bars that go from corners, diagonal corners to here to keep it from compressing on itself on diagonal edges like that. But it can still put be pushed along these vertical and horizontal edges. All right. So these affect your diagonal edges. These affect your vertical and horizontal compression. So what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll add a wind object. So down here, force field, I'll add the wind. And I'll, it's on, let's see, there's Y. So I'll rotate it on Y, R, Y. I'll rotate it so it's facing these objects. Now, the one thing to notice about when you put wind objects, force fields essentially into the scene, you notice here it's a force field and it's a wind that gets brought up in the physics panel. You could have just added it to an existing object as well. And if I change the strength in here, you'll see the changes this like this, all right? So that's where you know which way it, it's pointing. But the important thing about these objects is when they're in the scene, it doesn't really matter where they are in the scene. They're going to affect these two objects just the same. Soft bodies can be affected by these physics forces like this. So whether I have this object sitting here, or this wind object here, or this wind force sitting here, or the wind force sitting here, it's going to affect these in the exact same way. All right, You might think, oh, because it's closer to the scene like this, I mean, the object that's going to blow it harder. No, it all just depends on the layer. As long as it's on the same layer as these objects, it's going to work the same. So I can just push it over here out of the way. It doesn't matter. And when I press Alt-A, let it running, you can see this it's starting to push against this. Now, in this case, the you see it's kind of stretching this out because this is stretchable. So that's unlike the rigid body. The rigid body would be the object would keep its form. And if you had set a, you know, like a hinge or a point constraint for the rigid body, this thing would just move. But it wouldn't have these ability to stretch like that. And again, it's stretching because we have the springs. We're telling it it can stretch. If I was to just change these springs up here, let's see, like this, I just crank it up. So now it's moving more like a rigid body with a point constraint at this point. All right, so you can change that this. And then this one down here, you can see it's being pushed along by the wind. You see I'll move this wind back over here. It just makes no difference where it's physically located as long as it's in, on the same layer. All right, so it's being pushed. But now I have these stiff quads set, and I have the ability that it can be pushed. Let's take off the stiff quads here and you can see now it's wants to fall over right <laughs> that's all right so I'll put them back on right here and then maybe I'll just change this a uh, little bit so it can't be pushed quite as much here maybe we can see it like this yeah, you can see it bent wants to bend a little bit if you want a little more bend you could either change the parameters down here right so it's bending like that or you can see it's changing like this, or I could leave them up and I could just drop this value down as well.
Uh, let's see, it's there it goes. So you, now you can really start see it's kind of like this is kind of like a real shearing effect is the way it's kind of working and it's being and it's doing it and it's only doing it because it's of the friction down here on this surface. If there was no friction down here, like so let's say if there's collision, let's see if they if I turn the I have collision set here on this and if I turn this stickiness way, oh that's down so let's go to this object and let's take out the friction on it on this collision where's my friction? Oh soft body friction, let's turn that to zero on here and you can see it's bouncing but it doesn't have the oh, that's interesting actually It's like it's getting pulled into it. I wouldn't expect that. I would expect it to get pushed away from it. Well, there it goes like that. Well, at zero, it must be doing something different than I would expect. But I think that gives you a pretty good idea. So experiment with those, but really the point of this mostly is it can be anywhere as long as they're on the same layer. If you want them to affect things differently, you would have to get, you know, if you want one wind going one way, one another way, you'd have to put that on a separate layer and then another wind force on a separate layer and then you could blow different objects in different directions at the same time. Alright, well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next lesson.